I'll be brief, Cahill. Like, I just want to uh, agree with you uh, in your complimentary remarks about the fantastic refurbishment works that have been done here in this House, and particularly in our own chamber. As a member of the Oireachtas Commission, I have uh, been privy to the amount of huge amount of work that has been undertaken by uh, the OPW, by the contractors, by our own people, and in particular our own professional staff here, Cax of the Dáil and Shannon, and the Count Cola and yourself, uh, Cahillock, because I know the amount of time that it has taken uh, up from, for both of you uh, in particular, and I, and I welcome that. And uh, yeah, I also want to say I welcome being back in here. I didn't actually think we'd get back in here in this uh, current term. I invested in a pair of hearing aids because I could hear nothing whatsoever of it in the other place. I think I'd be giving them back. I might get a refund. <laughs> but um, uh, and the other day, uh, sometimes you hear too much, actually. Uh, a lot of the time you hear far too much. The, just briefly, Cahir, like, I think this is a very good day for parliamentary democracy worldwide. Uh, at a time when I feel that parliamentary, parliamentary democracy needs defending and needs support, uh, this is very, an exceptionally good day. Uh, we've seen very cavalier attitudes being taken to uh, the democratic process by leaders of the biggest democracies in the world, uh, both Prime Minister Johnson and indeed across the water in the United States. And we have always held that democracy, it mightn't be a perfect system, but show me one better. And if we let, our, if we let ourselves down uh, at the top, well, then we are inviting people to look again at alternatives like failed systems like Marxism and so on and so forth. And whatever we say about uh, the British, their parliamentary system has been in many ways the blueprint for our own and for many others. They are, in fairness, the mother of parliaments, uh, flawed in all as they are, and they have afforded uh, opportunities for Irish politicians, whether it was Parnell or, or, or Redmond, to uh, obviously they had no place of their own to, to speak, and they had an opportunity there, and they took that opportunity. And I would invite Senator Conway Welch and her Sinn Féin colleagues to avail of the opportunity, a unique opportunity that's afforded to them now to do something practical in this whole Brexit here, debate. Here, here, here. Instead of spending their whole time instead of spending their whole time instead of spending their whole time panicking panicking over opinion polls and attacking Fianna Fáil. This is vindicated their Sinn Féin position. See, look, look. Yeah. Look, so you're oh, talking oh, rubbish. He's endeavouring to conclude, so the more you interrupt him, the, the, absolutely. I, I, I can go on all day, too. And I welcome. Oh, and we, yeah. we, keep, oh, we keep every commitment please, that we make to you. That would and be while nothing, I that's not a point of order. Nothing to yeah. feel a fault. Yeah. That's not a point You've never been in government. No, allow Senator O'Sullivan to conclude. Yeah, they have that opportunity to partake in democracy over there. And, and also, while I'm at it, also Change while I'm at it, record. I'm quite happy to lay out Fianna Fáil's uh, financial income and Fianna Fáil's support financially by organisations outside of here. If Sinn Féin will show us all their dodgy money and, and all, and all the, all the, all the, all the, all the strange, dodgy money, dodgy strange, funny money that they seem to be able to spend. My party. Is, is, is out the of the what, what we get. This. We don't go behind any closed doors. Yeah. We have not, no skeletons there to worry about. Got a market, Cahillic?